This morning, I'm giving you the full package. I brushed my teeth, I flossed, and I used mouthwash. So fresh delicious. And hi, this is JP with Learn Brizzy Page Builder. I'm going to try and make a short video today. One more block we will deconstruct looking at the counter and also on the countdown element. Let's start by building our page. Click here and scroll all the way down in the light section and you will find this one here. Let's begin to recreate this very typical thing that we find almost on every website nowadays. I have my two cents about that, but I'll keep that for another video. Let's add a new block, add a blank block, and let's go ahead and delete the default template they give us. The background image, click on this one, go to background, image, and you will find this image on Unsplash. Then why did they get it to look so nice and hazy? Well, there's already fog in the sky, but they did that by going to colors, choosing white, and then reducing the opacity to 90%. We do the same, go to colors, overlay, choose white, and reduce the opacity to 90%. Still, it doesn't look quite the same. I'm going to change my focal point a little bit, go back to background, grab this blue dot and drag it down just to center the image a little bit more. Everything else is the same. Both of them are boxed at 100%. Let's begin there with our title and we drag in text. Text is always the element you will use for any heading or paragraph. We type in our statistics, center align it. And this one is on a heading one and the color is the second swatch from the left. Let's make it heading one and we choose our color. Of course, the HTML tag, they put it on H1 that's what they did. I'll put it on H2. That's my preference, our statistics. Next, we're going to add this icon box, but you have to observe the icon box is inside a column and the column is inside a row. So let's begin by dragging in a row and then we remove one of these columns and then we add our icon box. Let's style it from the outside in. Why did they use a row? Because they reduced the width to 40%. And that brings everything closer to the middle. So if you drag it down to 40%, you immediately see everything goes down to the middle. Next, I'm going to change the text. You can become a user today. And then we don't need the button. So you click on the button and you say bye-bye now, delete. The next thing you will notice is that their text is center aligned, middle aligned to the icon. There is no way you can just click a button and set it. You have to go to something like your gap above. And they added 13 pixels and that's how they got this line to move down. Click on your text, go to settings, gap above, increase it to 13. Right next, let's style our icon. Icon is a little bit tricky and I'll show you very soon why I say it's tricky. Let's first look at the icon. We look on the first part, which is only icon, size 24 at 20 pixels. Let's do the same. 24 and I'm going to type it in and enter at 20 pixels. The next thing we're going to look at is on the background here. Still on the icon, but a background. You will see the fill it's got a corner and the size is 15 and border is zero. Let's do that. Click on the icon, go background, fill, corner is already set. And then we reduce this. What was this size again? Oh, I forgot now. 15, right. Go back, background and 15. Now we are going to play around with the colors. You would have noticed the moment I typed in the 15, the border came back and gave me three. So I'm going to reduce it. Let me just show you that again. Click on it, icon, background, change the size, and the border is back. This is going to happen almost every time you make a change to this icon. So yes, I am going to leave the border now because the border is going to continuously come back. 
The last thing I'm going to do is remove the border. Otherwise, you're going to be removing this border like a 10 to 20 times. All right. So don't mind the border. We will remove it at the end. Now let's look at the colors. What did they did? First, we go to icon is this blue background is white and of course, no border. So icon is blue. Yes. And background is white. Good. Let's look at the hover state. Background is white. Icon is black. Go back to colors. Click on the hover. Icon is black. Let's make it black all the way. And the background is white. Right now, go back to the icon, background, reduce your border. Ah, and there you go. Well, you will notice that it's still not really well aligned as the ones at the top. And at the moment, there's still no great way to do that. You will have to go and play around with your padding. So they did that by going into the icon element, the icon box element. So you see this dot, 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 that's your icon box. And you click on the settings and you will see over here, the margin is 0, 0, 0, 50. And that gives us 50 on the left. We do the same, change 0, 0, and 50. And now we have replicated the top heading. Next part. I think there is a little bit too much space here, but let's just check quickly. Uh, zero top, uh, yeah, that's okay. And this one, let me just see here quickly. I'm just curious for a moment. My short video is becoming long again. No, 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 no changes on that. So let's not make too much of a fuss of that. Let's go to our next element, which is the spacer. And we drag spacer in space out spacer and the spacer is at 30 pixels sometimes the dark is a little bit difficult to see when i'm sitting far away from the computer like now but otherwise i usually don't have a problem with it next four columns you see that so we drag in our columns under here and we duplicate that twice one two then we drag in a counter over here and then under the counter we need text so let's go first to the counter and here is the counter setting 0 to 2740 at 1.5 0 to 2740 at 1.5 and actually one of the cool things is you can even change this you can make this 2740 to 0 and it will count ooh, it will count backwards it can do backwards, but we're not going to do backwards. 2740. And then for that, they have applied heading 2. And that's it. There you go. Next one, let's put in users here. Center align it. We can see that. And then this is a heading 4. Right. Wonder the color is a little bit darker at this one. Oh, it's the same. The eyes can be fooled so easily. You see, there's more space there. They probably reduce the margins at the bottom and at the top for the individual ones. Let's have a look. Margin. Yes. Always comes in at 10, 0, 10, 0, which means they reduce this to 0. Let's go do the same for hours. More settings. 10, 0, 0. And then for the text element, they reduced the top margin to 0. This is the default settings come in. Good. And there you have it. That's exactly. Now you will be wondering, wait a minute, JP. But look, this one has got very little space and this one's got so much space. And do not fret, people. There is a reason for that. I'm going to delete some here. And then I am going to duplicate this four times. And now you will see that space is gone. The reason is because when you have an empty column, the, the size that what you see here will be stretching 
to the column with the, the most height, and that will be the empty column in this case. So it will only go down and remove that space that you saw earlier once you have removed all those columns that are higher than this counter column. You can change these now to be the same as those ones at the top. And voila, once again, perfection. We did a good job here. One thing I quickly want to show because a lot of questions regarding this is the countdown. I've used the countdown element once. I dragged it in and I said, wow, very nice. You see, if you click on the countdown element, you can set up everything here. And then you can even drag here on the handles on the left and center align it. This is a very nice feature. However, after somebody pointed it out to me and I went to have a look myself, I found out the following. If you go and preview it, it turns out like this. So at this moment, the countdown element is not ready unless you want to have it vertically stacked. I'm not sure if it's connected to the theme because I've seen other people who have used it and, and it seems to work for them. But there is a glitch here. Very nice. If you want to put it on top of this building here on the right, you can count down on the building. But just be aware that even though there are some nice features here on this countdown element, it, uh, yes, when you are going to preview it, it's going to look like this or when you publish it. If you have used it and it didn't do this, please let us know because then we have to look into maybe it's theme related and we can figure out what's going on over there. Right, people, before I go, finally, slowly the price is going up. I even missed the last price increase with another $16. There's only a few days left and then the price will be going up. And if you are interested in a lifetime license, this is the only time you will be able to get it and the price will keep increasing. So yes, there's a link below this video where you can go through me and you can purchase it for no extra cost. I will get a little something. And yes, so please go ahead and, you know, I, every time I see the price just go up, I'm like, <laughs> don't wait. I think I, I, I have the gut feeling that you cannot make a mistake here. They are working very hard. And, you know, when it started at 199, it was just... A beauty deal. But as the price is going up, it's going to become difficult to make that decision. So you have to consider it, you know, do you want to be an early investor? I see myself as an investor, not as a user in this product. Great. Let's see what happens this week. We're looking forward to those updates. Cheers.